Let's hide the massive pile of clothes next to me. She gon' pop it open. She gon' make it poor. Even though I drive a foreign, damn, I still feel poor. Good morning, everyone. So, today I'm really excited for this video because I love watching clothing hauls. And I'm going on a trip in like two weeks to Thailand, which is so exciting. And so I had to buy a whole new closet to bring on this trip with me. And I'm going to be showing you what I got. I just filmed the try-on portion of this video, so I'm very flustered and sweaty. I didn't know just how much of a workout it is trying on a bunch of clothes. It is stressful. So I went online and I got a bunch of clothes from Princess Polly, Beginning Boutique. I think I bought something from With Jean during the Black Friday sales. My first ever high-end clothing piece. I've also got some bikinis from Kalani Kinis and White Fox. A bunch of other random things, but those are like the main brands. I honestly don't know where to start because I have so much on my bed right now. Like, that's a lot. I'm going to start off with the bikinis because I am so excited about these bikinis. I've been wanting some new good quality bikinis for a while, but I didn't want to spend like a hundred bucks per bikini. I did. I spent $100 per bikini, but I'm not exactly mad about it. So, okay. I bought two bikinis from Kalani's Kinis, and I've heard some really good things about this brand, and I wanted, I wanted to try them. So I did. I'm not usually one to wear colors or like printed anything. So I went out of my comfort zone and I bought two bikinis that are printed but I'm like kind of obsessed with them because they're so pretty. So the first one is this really gorgeous print. I'll put like the try on as like an overlay, but it is a halter neck bikini top with two strings. You can see it in the try on haul. I'm a horrible explainer, but the bottoms, I like these bottoms because they are cheeky and so they're good for tanning but yeah i got this bikini and no i didn't have a fake tanning mishap i went out in the sun the other day and because i was reading my book my like this part of my arm didn't get any sun because i was like reading my book so this is like all tan and this is all white no one cares but like anyways so yes that was the first bikini that i got and then I'm actually obsessed with this one as well. Um, and then I got this bikini. It's a blue one and I don't really wear much blue, but I wanted to go out of my comfort zone. And so I did. And I love this style of top. It's probably my favorite um, bandeau style, I think. And it has a cute little ring. And just the material is such good quality. I'm, I'm obsessed. So I got this one. These bottoms are a bit different. They're not as cheeky as the last ones. They're like a little bit full of coverage, but still that kind of V cheeky. They're still, there's still a cheeky coverage and it's like a V. So it's very flattering. Makes you look like you have those curves, which I need help in that department for sure. So those are the two bikinis that I got from Kalani's Kinis. I got two new ones from White Fox. I love White Fox bikinis. They are some of my favorite bikinis. So I just got a plain orange colored one. It's a lot more orange in person. It's coming up quite pink on camera, but it's just that same kind of halter bikini top. And I like bikini tops that you can tie so that they're not like digging into your skin and you can adjust how tight you actually want it. And you can easily take it off when you want to like tan your back or something. So. I like this one. The bottoms are the same kind of adjustable, adjustable, adjustable style, and they are also cheeky, which I like. Now for Princess Polly, I do a lot of damage on Princess Polly at least once a fortnight. So this is not really a summer piece, but it's a massive jumper. I think it's actually a crew neck, not a jumper. It's from the Looney Tunes collection and it was on sale. And so I, I bought it, but I got a really big size so that it has that like oversized kind of look to it. And it has a cute little design on the front of it. 
Bugs Bunny. So, yeah, I got that. I then got these little white shorts. And I, again, don't usually purchase things like this. But I really like them. And I saw that the model was wearing these shorts with, like, a white bralette and this shirt. So it's like a brown oversized long shirt and then that kind of outfit together, I'm gonna be wearing in Thailand. So I really like the material of these shorts as well. It's like a ribbed kind of material and they're super thick. So they're not see-through, which I appreciate. And then this shirt is also that ribbed material and I bought it in a size 12 so that it's a bit more oversized and I can just throw it over bikinis as like a beach cover-up kind of thing or I can wear it in that outfit that I described just then, so. I also got these pants from Motel on Princess Polly. This is the first piece that I've ordered from Motel, but I love it. Like these jeans are so comfortable, so soft and really good quality for the price that I paid. I originally ordered the size 10, but they were massive, like, so long and so like big i couldn't even make them work so i returned them for the size six and they fit perfectly and i'm so excited to wear these in winter or even like in summer with like a small tee or a small tank top me pretending like i have any idea about fashion but i then got two accessories from princess polly so i got these sunnies they're just kind of regular sunnies i think these are trending at the moment i like them and they're like cheap sunnies so i can take them to thailand and not worry about losing them i quite like them anyways i then bought a set of gold rings from princess polly let me try and focus them not my face let's not focus my face don't mind how ugly my nails look but that's the ring set that I bought. And again, they're just kind of cheap rings, so I'm not gonna worry about losing them when I go to Thailand. I recently got my ears pierced and that means I need to start buying earrings. So I just bought these simple gold hoops from Princess Polly. So yeah, I bought these. I'm really excited about them. I can't wait to have my hair up, wear some gold jewelry, some gold hoops and a nice dress in Thailand. I then got one item from With Jean. I don't usually purchase items from brands like With Jean because they are very much out of my price range. They had a sale and so I think I got this dress for like, I don't know, 70 bucks, 70 or 80 dollars, reduced from like almost 300 it was crazy um it is just a long sleeve brown dress and i kind of wish i got it in a size extra small but if i got it any smaller then i it would probably be too short but yeah i am really excited about this purchase i've never owned anything from an expensive brand now I do. I ordered two dresses from Pepper Mayo and I had to pre-order them so they came separately. I have one now but one is still in the mail. I'll insert a picture of the dress that is still yet to come but I'm really excited about that one. If it comes before I post this video then I'll insert the try on clip. If it doesn't then you'll probably see it on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That's my name. The second dress I got was, again, very out of my comfort zone. It's colorful. It's not black or white. It's pink and orange. It is just a long maxi summer kind of dress. Pink and orange kind of checkered design. I really like it. It is like a knit kind of material and it's just so comfortable. And I can just imagine myself drinking pina coladas, watching the sunset in this dress. I ordered one dress from Beginning Boutique and I, you guys probably know the trending white kind of tube dress from With Jean. I got the knockoff version from Beginning Boutique, but I think it looks like almost identical. It looks more like a top than a dress, but I mean, 
we'll make it work. I got one item from Jagger and Stone and I've always wanted a dress from Jagger and Stone. And so I finally splurged and I got, I got a dress. It is again a maxi dress, like a red and white kind of design. And it is beautiful and it fits so well. I sized down because I heard, like I read online that it was better to size down in Jagger and Stone. So I did and I'm so glad I did because the dress fits perfectly, perfectly. And the back is like a cool kind of crisscross design. It is beautiful and I am very excited about this dress. Okay, last couple of pieces. I got a couple of dresses from Tiger Mist. I love Tiger Mist dresses. They are really good quality for, most of them are really good quality for the price that you pay. I got these two dresses on sale. The first one is, again, a maxi dress. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been really into maxi dresses recently. I just think they're so classy and elegant and still spicy, if you get what I mean. So this one is really hard to show, but you'll see it in the try-on. It is just a brown kind of bodycon maxi dress with like a cool cutout in the middle. Very different, but I don't know. I think it's so pretty and... The material is really good quality as well, so it's not gonna be see-through or sheer. I also, I did order this in a size small, but it was just like way too baggy around my waist. And so I returned it and ordered an extra small. So if you wanna get this dress, I would recommend sizing down. I then got this dress and I love it. It's just so short and just overall, there's not much fabric covering your body with this dress. I like should have probably returned it for a size small instead of an extra small but I didn't and I kind of regret that. It is a beautiful dress, it is just, there's just not much fabric to it. So it's again that kind of bandeau style dress with like a cool boob area and I really love the pattern, the pattern is so cool. Even the material, everything about it is nice, it's just... It's just so small, but I mean, I could probably make it work, maybe, if I'm feeling extra confident. I then just got a couple of oversized t-shirts from Universal Store. I'm just going to throw this at the end of the haul because they're just... Who doesn't love an oversized tee? So, I actually got this one that I'm wearing right now. I don't know which brand. I think it's like Nude Lucy. I think that's the brand. But it's just like a cool kind of oversized t-shirt. I then got one from PE Nation. Yeah, it's just, I don't, what is this color? What is this color? Skylight. I, yeah, I wouldn't pay $100 for this, but I did get it on special. And I don't own anything from PE Nation. So now I do. It's like an oversized t-shirt. But finally, I got one from Stussy. Look how cool this color is as well. It's like a... Salmon. Salmon? It's like a salmon kind of color and I really like it. And it just has the logo at the back. I got these three t-shirts in a size 12. I think that's like a medium, medium to large because I wanted them to be oversized and baggy. So yeah, that concludes my haul. I, I spent a lot over the past couple of weeks, but I'm excited to wear these pieces in Thailand. I'm gonna be so cool it's gonna be so fun make sure to follow me on instagram so that you can see me wearing these pieces in thailand i will be filming like i will be vlogging my trip because that's just so fun thank you guys for watching this haul i hope you enjoyed let me know what other videos you want me to film if you like these kind of sit down videos or if you want more like vlog style videos or you know health and fitness let me know in the comments but yes thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video Ciao. Now I literally have to put away all of this. Ah.